Dragon Folk, you're not going to believe this. There was an article that was just posted on the Judge Hub for Flesh and Blood telling us about what stealth does. Or does it? Welcome on in Dragon Folk. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. My name is Ashen Wings, and today we are going to be talking about the stealth drop that just happened over here on the Judge blog. Uh, you can find this if you are ever looking for it. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, obviously. But if you go to the uh, game and then rules and policies page, there is a little Judge Hub platform thing here. This is for judges to learn how to become judges how to you know you have a become a judge tab here this is kind of a wikipedia of sorts for the very very intricate rulings of the game itself so this is the stealth drop that was just introduced uh it's a little article here and uh let me tell you it's a very interesting one this is going to tell us everything that we need to know about stealth so what is Stealth? Stealth is a new addition exclusive to the Assassin Toolkit, introduced by the Outsider set. Assassin heroes who use cards with Stealth do so in their own individual and often cunning ways. Stealth is elusive, mysterious, and packed with potential danger. Those who face it only see its true form when they're staring down the Assassin that wields it. Now obviously that is very vague, Joshua. So uh, what's up with that, right? What's going on with this? Well, you'll see it's a fun little thing. They've been doing very, very interesting stuff by hiding a lot of things that they decide to drop every now and again. And this is no different because obviously this should not be the entirety of the article. There's a big space here. You also see that the cursor changes when I hover over certain parts. That's a little strange that it would do that, right? Well, that is because when you hold down the left mouse button and hover over everything, it tells you the rest of it. It is hidden as white text on this white background so that you have to hover over it and highlight everything in order to see what it says. And even with this still being the case, I believe the answer is still very vague. It says, yes, but what is stealth? Stealth is an ability keyword unlike any other. Stealth alone means nothing. It has no specific rules meaning. It does not resolve. It does not trigger. And it does not change the game through effects. Cards simply have the stealth keyword or they don't. However, when combined with other effects that depend on stealth, it becomes the vehicle of carefully crafted chaos. Not only are there cards that depend on attacking with a stealth card, but each assassin hero uses stealth cards in fundamentally different ways. Cards with stealth do not have reminder text because there is nothing to be reminded of. What gives meaning to stealth is how it is used and who is the hero that wields it. So what is stealth? Simple but complex, empty but powerful, nothing and yet many things. Time will tell and eventually all will be revealed. Now obviously this is incredibly vague and I'm still not sure whether or not this is a solid planting of what stealth is if it's just like a combo essentially because when we take a look at things that have been spoiled for outsiders already we do see several cards that do interact with stealth such as spike with blood rot right when an attack action card with stealth gains or target attack action card with stealth sorry gains plus three and when this hits a hero create a blood rock pox token so in theory, the point is, is that they have to have stealth in the card name for certain cards to be, you know, useful, which is understandable because when you see Spike with Blood Rot, right, obviously you're not running this if you're running a bunch of generics or even contract cards because none of those cards have stealth. But it seems that what they want us to believe, at least right now, as cryptic as it may be, they want us to believe that stealth by itself is more so a identifier for cards 
and are able to be comboed with attack reactions to give them additional benefits. Now, of course, when we go back to the drop, right, what gives meaning to stealth is how it is used and who is the hero that wields it, right? Who is the hero that wields it is exactly the thing here. So obviously, we know that Arachne is not, does not have an innate ability of anything to do with stealth. Uh, so the, uh, the Arachne that came out in Dynasty more specifically. But this Arachne, Solitary Confinement, very well could have something like that have happened. You do also have Uzuri, who is the new assassin to be coming into uh, the game in Outsiders. And so it is very interesting because maybe Uzuri has additional effects when she plays cards that are stealth related. Simply because, uh, you know, there's got to have there's got to be something to it, right? Um, maybe she will have, uh, you know, cards with stealth allow her to go and, uh, you know, go get a, an attack reaction or maybe uh, if they use an attack reaction on cards with stealth, uh, they be, they give them dominate or something, right? Which wouldn't make any sense because that's not correct in the steps. Uh, but maybe her stealth cards have dominate, although innate dominate sounds like really insane. But then again, innate dominate with like things like three, and it doesn't really make any sense to do that either. So maybe they're only blockable by three blocks. Maybe they're only blockable by two blocks. Uh, there could be several things into this, but it seems that according to the judge blog, it's important who wields the stealth function. And of course, like we see, it's not even just that case with any of these newer cards. We do also have things like the Razor's Edge, which is just a regular attack reaction, but it, with cards with stealth specifically which means that every single one of these cards that have been introduced, other than Bonds of Ancestry and Quiver uh, and Codex and Death Touch, all those guys, those have nothing to do with the stealth mechanic. But with these, Infect, Sedate, Wither, Razor's Edge, Spike with Frailty, Spike with Blood Rot, Spike with Inertia, all the spikes, all of these have something to do with stealth, which means essentially if you want to attack with Infect, you can pay this for zero, and it has stealth, and if it hits a hero, create a blood rot pox, and then you can combo it with this, and I'm wondering whether or not you're able to combo the blood rot with another blood rot and give them two, and, you know, kind of bring that forward, or are, is the goal to maybe mix the diseases with one another, right? Give them a blood rot and also give them an inertia, or give them a frailty and also give them a blood rot. Who is to say? Um, but the fact that the the fact that the that stuff exists there is a little it's a little interesting to see that Zuri might have more to her than we think. Obviously, we see that you know she didn't rise to the ranks of becoming the essential captain of this trio of deadly assassins for no reason, right? But I'm wondering what stealth really does for her. Um, because I don't know if they're going to give it to Arachne because, well, Arachne is just a young hero. Maybe they have something to do with the diseases, like maybe their attacks get, you know, plus one or plus two for every disease their opponent has or every, you know, blood rot or frailty or inertia token they have on their field. That would be interesting. But as far as the stealth mechanic, I'm wondering how Azuri is going to pull that off because it seems to be her mechanic, uh, considering she's the only adult hero that we have in here that is an assassin. But it's very interesting. You know, I'm liking what they're doing with all of this, like having to kind of find answers to this. And obviously, like when people opened this up and they saw this, right, they were like, okay, well, like this doesn't make any sense. Why is there an article with like two thirds of it missing? And that will obviously came to pass as knowing that it was just white text on a white background. But it was a very interesting spoiler, right? And I'm not sure whether or not it is enough to kind of get us to speculate more on the topic itself. But I do, again, have a feeling that if it's based on the hero who wields it and it's talking about assassins specifically, uh, you know, it did only just say assassins uh, and not rangers. 
So obviously, you know, we're seeing all these stealth cards on assassin cards as opposed to rangers. Uh, but I do know that there were some stuff that was, you know, assassin ranger actions. Maybe there could be even assassin ninja actions. So technically, they would still count themselves as assassin cards. But would that be able to utilize that in stealth? I'm not too sure. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what everybody thinks about this little thing here. Uh, I like that they're just like sprinkling a little bit here and there. And they're really they're really sending them in like the weirdest places. Like I, I didn't even know about this. Uh, I didn't even know about this back when it you know came out, right, which was technically the day of recording this because uh, I don't go on the judge hub. I don't go on the blog there. So I have no concept about what is going on over there. But luckily, being part of the Facebook group and being on Twitter and being a part of a community, it eventually finds its way to the surface. And uh, well, I'm here to make a video about it. So again, let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to see what your uh, theory crafts are on Uzuri and even just the self mechanic in general. What do you think it might be? And uh, while you're down there leaving that comment, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already. We do also have a Patreon and a channel membership here for the channel if you want to check those out. I believe the link for the Patreon should be in the description down below. And there should be a little join button, I think, down uh, yonder over here. And you can go ahead and click that if you wanted to support the channel in a more monetary sense. You'll get some emotes to start. And uh, as we grow the channel and as I get more and more art commissioned for me, uh, we will continue to get more and more goodies for you guys over there as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate your support. And I will see you all very soon. Nerd out. <laughs>